I congratulate you for building a small business. I know how much work, sacrifice, risk, dedication, stress. I know what the journey's like on the entrepreneur roller coaster. I get it because I started Alpine Security in 2014. So I've been on that journey with you and I've ridden that entrepreneur roller coaster with you. The last thing we want to have happen is after all that effort to build something, the last thing we want to have happen is for it to be taken away because of a cyber attack. Over 60% of cyber attacks are directed towards small businesses. Next year, that number is going to go to 70%. That means it is highly likely you will be attacked by some sort of cyber criminal next year. Cyber attacks cost small businesses in a few different ways. One of the first ways they cost a business is if you are under attack by a cyber criminal and they steal your customer data or your patient data, you're typically obligated to pay for credit monitoring for each record that was stolen. So if you had 10,000 records, as an example, stolen out of your CRM, then you may be obligated to pay for credit monitoring for one or two years for those 10,000 people. If the credit monitoring costs $20, which is relatively cheap, per year, that's $200,000 in fees for credit monitoring you have to pay. That's a pretty big expense for a small business. If you have an incident or an employee commits fraud or you have some sort of cybersecurity incident, there are a lot of fees associated with that as well because you have legal fees, you have consultant fees, you may have to hire someone to do the incident response, do the forensics, you may have lost revenue, and even if you have cyber insurance, that's typically exhausted fairly quickly. The other area is ransomware. If you're hit with ransomware and you don't have a good backup system or tested backups in place, the ransomware really only gives you two options. You either have to pay the ransom, which can be a lot of money, or you go out of business because you can't access any of your systems ever again. It's typically not a matter of if you'll be hacked, it's a matter of when you'll be hacked, and you may have already been compromised or hacked and not even know it. A lot of clients that contact us to do an assessment, they want us to assess their perimeter defenses and their cybersecurity controls. And while we're doing the assessment, we realize that they've already been compromised. The ultimate advice I have to you falls under three areas. Number one is to assess your risk. So know what business functions you have that are critical to your operations. How do you protect those business functions? And what is the impact if one of those business functions is compromised? The other part of the risk is data. Understand where your critical data is located and how it is protected. And what would happen if your data was altered, stolen, or made unavailable to you? So that's knowing your risk. The other area is your users. Typically, an attacker will take advantage of your users. So it's important your users have some sort of general cybersecurity awareness training. And this should consist of things like what a phishing email looks like, that what kind of scams attackers will use to call you up on the phone and try to get you to divulge information over the phone. All these are things that your users should be trained on. The third thing is have a cybersecurity roadmap. As a small business, I realize you can't do everything when it comes to cybersecurity, but it's important to have a roadmap that allows your cybersecurity program to mature as you grow as a business. So having that roadmap is critical. The cybersecurity roadmap should include a couple things. One of those is any compliance and regulatory requirements for your industry. The second thing is it should be in alignment with your business strategy. So as your business strategy allows your business to grow, the cybersecurity roadmap should support your business strategy and objectives. We understand the challenges running a small business. We know you don't have the time to figure out the cybersecurity roadmap, to train your users, to assess your risk, because more than likely cybersecurity is not your core competency or core capability for your business. And more than likely, if you're a small business, you don't have like a cybersecurity staff. Typically, it's somebody's like additional duty. We want to help you. We want to help small businesses survive and prevent those cyber attacks from taking a small business out of business. We know you can't afford a full-time cybersecurity person. 
So one of the programs we have that we feel is very valuable to small businesses is our fractional virtual chief information security officer program. This is no different than a fractional CFO that you may use or a part-time bookkeeper. It's the same concept where we help you with your cybersecurity roadmap, training your users, assessing your risk. We help you with all that as a trusted advisor to help you mature your cybersecurity program. To find out more about our fractional and virtual CISO program, check out the link beneath this video. Our ultimate goal is to help small businesses succeed and prevent the cyber criminals from taking small businesses out of business.